Good afternoon parents. Uh, this little video, short video, is to get you familiar with the changes that are going to happen with your um, child's homework. Uh, most of the things are going to stay the same. The only thing that's going to really change is the uh, word study. We're going to be moving away from sight words at home. We will continue working on them at school and you can also continue reinforcing it at home if, um, if you see that your child needs that extra help. Um, but for the most part, um, we'll be moving away from this at home, and we'll c continue second semester working with our wizard words. Um, the wizard words are a little bit different. I will explain everything um, during the coffee afternoon, but this is just an introduction, so you're, you come a little prepared. Um, and inside, you'll find a little baggie with the words. Notice that these are words that I give them and another tic-tac-toe board. Most of the students are familiar with these activities and we've been working on it during the first semester. So um, you'll find that um, they'll know exactly what to do. You just kind of need to monitor them and making sure that they're doing the, um, the correct thing. Uh, let me show you a little bit um, how this works. So in the baggie, you'll find these words, and you'll also find these little titles that go along with the, with the words. And basically what the students need to do in general is kind of sort the words that are here. I kind of help them by including some of the words in there, um, and then they have to decide where bat goes. And does it go with, like, in this, um, with the long A, or does it go with a short A, or is it an A ball? One that doesn't follow the pattern. So um, they have to decide on their own. Let me see if I can get it a little better for you, mm, where it goes. So in this case, um, the bat, it actually belongs, ah, makes the ah sound like in cat. So we will go here, okay? Um, and then what they're looking for is a pattern. So for example, game, aim. Oh, it looks like um, it goes with a long vowel right here, okay? And so if when they continue, what they'll notice is that all the long vowels have a, an E at the end. And basically, that, that is the pattern. In the short A, it does not have a pattern. It does not have an E on it, so it has a short A sound. There's usually, not always, um, an oddball, one that doesn't follow the pattern in this um, sort the one that doesn't follow the pattern is foot. Uh. Notice that um, it makes the uh sound and we spell foot with two o's. So um, this, even though it has the a consonant then vowel consonant type of pattern, um, it it does not make the long a sound, nor does it make the short a um, sound a ah, or a. It makes the uh. So this word would be our oddball, the one that doesn't follow the pattern. Thank you for watching my video and I hope to see you soon.